Thanks for logging on to KOCO.com as well as your KOCO 5 mobile app. The threat for severe weather will return again as we go into Tuesday afternoon here. Oklahoma City up to Ponca City up to the northeast. The threat is slight and then surrounding that is a marginal risk for severe weather. Right now, the data coming in doesn't show a bunch of storms, may not even have any storms out there, but we're going to watch it. So tornado index is at a one. Stillwater Prague down to Seminole and up to northeast here. If storms do develop, they would first develop up in northeastern Oklahoma and the back build down to the southwest here. Otherwise, a threat for winds around 50 up to 60 miles per hour. And if storms can go up, we're looking at quarter to ping pong ball size hail. A lot of instability out there, but right now storm chances primarily sitting at about a 20% for central southern Oklahoma and a bit higher as we go up to the northeast. As we go into Wednesday morning here, the threat for severe weather begins very early in the day around 7 a.m. will last into the afternoon here. South and east of I-44 here, the risk is slight. North and west, the risk is marginal and there will be a tornado threat that we have to watch. Now, right now, the highest tornado risk will be across southern Oklahoma, but it does go as far north as Perry out towards Watonga and down in the southwestern Oklahoma. And we'll see storms that will develop just west of the metro around 8 a.m. Enid Kingfisher down to Hinton coming into the metro here by 9 a.m. Chickasha, Norman, Shawnee, Chandler, Stillwater. And then those will move towards Seminole down to Paul's Valley as we go towards around the lunchtime hour. And then the storm still going down towards Paul's Valley around noon. So much earlier threat for severe weather. And then we'll see additional development across far southern Oklahoma as we go into the early to mid afternoon and a few lower end storms as far north as the OKC Metro. We're going to continue watching because this week is really setting up to be a very active week right here on KOCO 5 News.